Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we're, uh, the tool bus is going to leave here shortly and we're going to uh, get to work on the sprayer here, but we're uh, going to wash the uh, motor off first because we've got an injector that's got a leak for some reason. So, Antoine's got the pressure washer set up and I'm going to uh, put her this over there. He's busy washing his uh, summer tires off. He's gonna change them here one of these days, but I guess we'll uh, get this big beast of a sprayer moving. said before this is a four cylinder I think it's like a two and a half liter three liter four cylinder Peugeot diesel engine and uh, a five speed standard so the thing's a, a riot to drive you usually spray about uh, 13 miles an hour with it when you're in the field so you cover acres with 70 feet on the booms like that. You do 90 acres on a tank, so. But, that's about all I've got to tell you about it for right now until we get it in the shop and start pulling shit apart. So, I'm gonna get it over to the pressure washer and we'll talk to you again here in a few minutes. out a little bit so you can open up the sides of the hood but we'll uh, get in position here for some washing I might also add this thing is incredibly good on fuel <laughs> like 40 liters you'll go out and spray 300 acres <laughs> like it uh, she just sips on it so it's a cheap sprayer to run for uh, that aspect anyways so but we will uh, leave this here and get washing a little bit closer to the car so we can swing that boom to the west. Just back. Was that? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, keep going. There, straight. That should be enough room to get a half ton in here too if we have to, eh? In front. Roughly. Beauty. Well, it's about, oh, two and a half weeks after the first part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
and uh, uh, yeah, all kinds of shit has happened since then with the poor old sprayer, but um, the biggest thing why things got delayed so much are steel for building these new booms. This pipe was supposed to come on that day and they didn't send pipe they sent frickin' square tubing, so <laughs> then that's uh, send it back and wait another week for the pipe to show up. And then the other issue we had is the proper sized pipe, like uh, however big around it was and the wall thickness, you couldn't get anymore. So we had to get something, this stuff here, the pipe itself is a little bit smaller very close but the pipe is a little smaller and it's a heavier wall it's a little thicker but anyway it showed up last week and then uh, dad didn't have to work on the weekend so he uh, attacked that project well me and Antoine cleaned pea seed and whatnot but uh, here's our new booms this one's uh, got to get put on yet and uh, if you remember how they were before, all of this in here, this piece, this piece, and then this upright, and then this pipe, and the, all the braces are uh, what's new. Before, it was just the, this pipe and this pipe, and the only place they had support was right at the end where they met. And where the two pieces of pipe were, instead of it being a triangle, it was just a piece of flat iron on this side, and one on the other side, like a rectangle, boxed it in. And, since they were just two pieces of pipe, you had good support up and down, but forward and back, they would bend and bend and bend and work back and forth, and finally they'd fucking break. So... I kind of designed this in my head and then as we started putting things together it got improved upon furthermore but there's the new booms one's there and one is on already so we have the uh, the pin and everything in we just have to put the nozzles and everything back on and uh, me and Antoine painted them yesterday and I painted all the clamps here so that everything there's stainless steel but the when you're spraying in crop sometimes and you're not paying attention you'll bounce them off the ground and it rubs the it'll make them rust yet just from rubbing on or going around the edge of a slough where there's taller grass and they're rubbing and blah 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 but anyway that's what I'm working on so I'm going to put the uh, auto steer and everything back in it. We always take it out over the winter so that it's in a nice heated shop and not getting uh, froze up in the minus 40 outside. So I'm going to put all that back in it and I'll talk to you guys here while I'm up in the cab. Okay, so I got the uh, monitor back in. All the wiring and everything we leave in here obviously and then down underneath that's its brains down there. And that's it. <laughs> and that just stays in here during the winter time. And then uh, I got the screen installed. There's uh, two big plugs. Two big plugs on the back. There and over there, some where's my over there, <laughs> and then there's this one. Here's the antenna, and then there's a power one down in the middle there. Now the actual auto steer portion itself, this just opens up with a little bit of finessing. I don't know how to set you guys so you can see. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'll, I'll get it on here and talk to you in a second. <laughs>
Okay, I got it on. So it just clamps on. There's a little over-centering latch. And then on the back side, this little steel rod here threads up into the body, and then that's what holds it solidly in place. And then uh, I've got two bolts and a, a zip tie, because that was the only way to uh, put it on here without having to massacre the poor console completely, because there's a universal joint down there and another one up here and then the telescoping mechanism so I couldn't put two more bolts I got two up there and then this zip tie so it works all right but the uh, battery is disconnected and I gotta put oh there's Antoine <laughs> so this goes up on the roof with a magnet Fucking strong magnet. Like that. And then screw that in there. And that's how it talks to itself. So that's all you got to do to uh, put it in. I mean, and then of course we've got the rest of the wiring and everything in here already. But all it is is a power and a ground for. The brains, because they stay on, that's uh, it's uh, save. So that way when you unplug your monitor and everything, it still has, uh, there's a little bit of power going to it, which will eventually kill your battery if you leave it for 10 months on end, but it's so minimal what it draws. Like we left it sit for quite a few months there after spraying until the fall and the batteries were still right up. So it takes nothing for it to keep its memory alive, but if you left it sit all winter like some dumbass with your fucking battery hooked up, well, it'll kill the battery, but if you don't take your batteries out and disconnect them in the winter, you deserve to have a dead battery in the spring. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna put power to it and I'll turn it on real quick, and then I guess we'll, uh, we'll end her there. There, I fixed it for you. Are you happy now? <laughs> See how long it takes for it to get itself figured out for its first start. And then there's another switch on this. Getting connected to Skynet. Let's just watch Antoine work for a minute while we wait. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. So everything's going to power up and talk to itself. There we go. No GPS fixed position, but if we... Uh, Uh, have to go outside I think for it but so if we did it right it should still remember our jobs from last year whatever I'll just do this quickly I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, everyone knows how these things. Oh, maybe there we go.
<laughs> it remembers the jobs, Tuan, but they're uh, 9,900, no, 99,262 months old. Yes. It remembers the jobs, but the age is 99,262. <laughs> anyway, we'll click on this. Yes. They're 100,000 months old. <laughs> there, anyways, you can see it's screaming across the map here, so... That is uh, kind of how it works when it's uh, out in the field. You click on it and everything's uh, ready to go. If it was a uh, something it remembered, and then you can set your little a little pin flag here and there and wherever. And then if you've got GPS and your air seeder and your stone picker and everything else, and you've seen a big rock or a rut while you're out spraying ahead of time, well then you can. Uh, pin flag it and that pin flag will show up for everyone and they'll know uh, to watch out in that spot so anyway we're going to uh, we are going to work on some other shit on this sprayer I guess and we'll talk to you guys later so hit the like button subscribe for more we'll see you next time